Welcome, everyone. We continue this Advent season, this time of waiting and expectation. All of us looking for the light of the Christ child to come into our lives once again. Today, in our candle wreath, we're lighting the candle of joy. First, we light the candle of hope and then peace and now this pink one over here candle of joy you might recall that we are reading along with the general minister and president of the christian church disciples of christ um, reverend dr terry Horde owens who wrote a devotional called Imagining a New World um, for Advent. I've only added a few questions, as you might remember from the first two weeks, and so you're welcome to pause and consider those um, or to journal about them or whatever uh, might work for you to deepen your walk. To get centered then, let's get listening to our text today, which is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 12, Verses 2 to 3. Listen, listen, listen for a word from God. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say on that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. God's word for God's people, thanks be to God. Dr. Owens writes, today fear is on our minds. As people of faith, we have spoken the words fear not to ourselves and to countless others. But as the numbers of infections and deaths continue to rise, so does our anxiety. We have many responses to fear, and too often our response can throw aside wisdom and discretion in order to seek an immediate resolution. We must speak to ourselves to say that we will trust God, follow the guidelines, and we will not allow fear to cripple our judgment. It is not reasonable to expect that we will never feel afraid. But because of Christ, we can live in ways that do not allow fear to control us. Part of the challenge of letting go of ways that no longer work is to move beyond fear of change of what will happen when we let go. The new cannot come until we've given it space to appear. Only by releasing our clenched hands can they be open to receive. By giving ourselves permission to change and accepting the grace that God has already given to do so, we can move beyond our fear to a freedom that will give wings to our prophetic imaginations. Beautiful words from our general minister and president. So for reflection, I have just a few questions for you. Why don't we take just a few moments to name some of our fears for ourselves, for our family. And as you name those fears, what happens inside of you when those come to mind? What do you notice within your heart, in your spirit, in your mind? The second question is, how do you keep from dwelling on the difficult while also facing the reality of what is? So we don't want to dwell on it, but we have to face the reality. How, how do you do that best? And then the last question is, What idea or thing 
do you need to let go of to give space to Christ's way, to have more joy in your life? What do you need to let go of? And have you given yourself permission to do that? I hope these questions have given you a chance to deepen your walk and to think about these things in this Advent season. Let us pray together. Lord, help me to trust and not be afraid. Allow me to release that which I hold too close so that I may receive all that you are ready to bring forth in my life. In faith we pray. Amen.